I will not try to translate what IFA means, but can I just say it's good to be back in 2022? After a weird two years, we're always happy to be back in Berlin, as it's correctly pronounced, and spend some time in one of our favorite trade shows. IFA is one of the world's largest conventions, but as opposed to MWC, it's not just about mobile, and as opposed to CES, here we see a lot of real products and not all the vaporware. We've picked a list of our best of IFA in a way that best fits the show and all the innovation that we got to see. With the support of the entire team at Pocketnow.com, I'm Jaime Rivera, and let's dive into our winners. Let's start with Lenovo and maybe two of my favorite products of the show. The first is that Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Full Gen 2. I know of no one who wouldn't want the largest display they could buy, but the idea of carrying it was unthinkable up until now. It's a 16 inch high resolution display when extended, 12 inch laptop when you're on the go, and now the advantage that it improves on its predecessor by having far better internals, Windows 11 for major improvements in the user experience, Wacom digitizer support, and it's hard to resist all you're getting for its price when compared to other pro computers. I also found myself drifting a lot to the new Glasses T1. I'm still not convinced on either AR or VR, but if you can give me a pair of glasses that can improve the experience of, say, watching a movie on any place like an airplane, well, I'm sold on that. Obviously, the price will determine how well it's adopted, but I think simplifying the idea was the right way to go, and Lenovo nailed it here pretty well. All right, let's be real. There are a ton of you that like curved monitors and a ton of you that don't. So why not have both? LG's new OLED Flex LX3 stole the show with its 42 inch OLED panel at 4K resolution and 120 Hertz refresh rate. Seriously, that alone would have been enough, but they match the flexible body that can curve itself when you want or go flat when you don't and does so automatically with a controller. Then you've got the LED lights behind, the cable management, the extra ports placed exactly where they should be, and I'd say this is a gamer's dream. Obviously, the price will then determine how true we'll be able to make that. Since we're on the topic of gaming and OLEDs, let's talk about laptops, and we've all known MSI has been crushing it here. So imagine a 15.6 inch Quad HD OLED panel that's capable of a crazy 240 hertz. Then consider that you can get it with Intel's new Core i9 12900HX chip, add an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, go crazy with 64 gigs of RAM, and why not one terabyte of storage, and then price that configuration for 3,800 bucks, and you'll understand where I'm going. Yeah, no worries, this is for the maxed out variant, but for context, there are Dell Precision laptops and even the old maxed out Intel MacBooks that would cost double this money and not give you even half of those specs. Of course, we were gonna call it a winner. And fine, let's assume you're on a budget and all you want is a decent computer for the money. Well, Techno has pretty much gotten viral lately as a brand given its uh, Camon phones and uh, just the value that you're getting with them. Now the company has decided to go into the laptop business and the reason they're winning an award is because they do not look cheap at all and yet will most likely follow on the affordable prices of its phones. You've got decent specifications, ports galore, but uh, then you notice things like the matte display, a frickin' webcam cover, and yeah, I'm already looking forward to their pricing and availability. And listen, I don't know why power banks and power stations are becoming so popular, but IFA was full of them, and we couldn't leave out one of our favorite picks from Bluetti. Their new EB3A power source is the most compact and capable that I got to see. We're talking 268 watt hours with a crazy nine port setup that includes two AC outlets, all the USB ports and USB-C ports that you can think of, wireless charging on the top, a lamp in case you need visibility, its compatibility with solar panels, and the fact that it's portable at just 10 pounds and you can also quick charge this thing to 80% in just 40 minutes, and you'll understand why that 299 price tag is just too good. 
As for audio, you know that I have a sweet spot for Jabra. They've proven their quality. They're the only earbuds I've owned that survive my intensive training, and yet their new Elite 5 take things a step further. So think of the idea of getting a more advanced iteration of their ANC, Bluetooth multipoint, the IP rating they've become famous for, along with the warranty service that still is second to none, and then price the package for just 150 bucks. Even if I've been using their Elite 7s already, I am pretty curious to start using these because the ANC did feel pretty epic. I do think that the, the value is amazing for everything that you're getting. Last but not least, let's talk about Honor, which also garnered two awards and even a runner-up. Their new Magic Book 14 is not just crazy thin and light, but it's one of the few laptops of its category that is even capable of playing games with ray tracing. I know, I had to read into that twice. So think 12th generation Intel chips, options for either Iris Xe graphics or Nvidia's 2050 GPUs, a good 75 watt hour battery that can charge to 100% in 80 minutes, and all in a design that won't make you feel like if you're hauling a dinosaur for gaming or anything less than an ultrabook for the business user. It's the same way that I feel about their Honor 70. It's a gorgeous smartphone on the outside thanks to its unique design and multiple color options, but then match the fact that it's the first phone rocking Sony's new IMX 854 megapixel primary camera, a decent ultra wide, and then a 6.7 inch OLED that's capable of 120 hertz. At 549 euros, you're getting a lot of punch for that money. And trust me, after a few days of using it, I will tell you the look, feel, and performance do walk the talk without a problem. Honorable mentions land for the company's new Pad 8, mainly because for 349 euros, you're getting a 12 inch LCD at a whopping 2K resolution, decent internals, and a pretty good looking design. Seriously, do the math of what the cheapest iPad costs and you'll understand where we're going with this award. To conclude, what can I say? I think this is probably one of my favorite EFAs. Surely some of the usual suspects weren't there as travel is still crazy in certain countries, but it didn't subtract from the relevance of the show and how much we enjoyed covering the cool products. To see concepts like a foldable laptop mature from those ideas into products that we'd be willing to recommend in just one generation is crazy, and as you saw from the rest of the listing, it was just the tip of the iceberg. Let us know if you agree with our picks in the comments down below, and while you're at it, follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on my personal handles to see me enjoy being back in Berlin one more time. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.